In this video, we're going to talk about solubility, more specifically precipitates. Now, the term precipitate is not a word that many of us would know. We may hear the weatherman talk about precipitates or something like that, but we're, I'm going to do a, a demonstration here for you and uh, show you what a precipitate actually is. Okay? I'm going to take this test tube and I'm going to take a chemical and then I'm going to show you the reactions here in a second. I'm going to take and put um, potassium iodide in there. Okay? And then I'm going to take this other compound, this other solution, and you'll notice as I put it close to the screen, okay, it's a clear solution. I'm going to take this other one. Now watch what happens when I shoot this in there. Watch very carefully. Ready? Here we go. Now you will notice that something dramatic has just happened. Okay? Now, this is a precipitate. I'm going to put it here so that it's still and you can see it turned yellow and it turned very cloudy. Let me zoom in really close so you can see. Okay, I'm going to refocus real quick. You'll notice it's not clear anymore. As I turn it, it's not clear. It's cloudy. That is called a precipitate. I'm going to show you how precipitates work and in this, this case, why this one actually happened. So let me zoom back out real quick. I'm going to show you this reaction. Okay? That's a precipitate. Very dramatic in how it happens. Now, here is the actual reaction that happened. Ki reacts with PbNO3 to yield. Now, if you look at that, you know that reaction. It's a double replacement reaction. You get Pb. I and oops had the wrong formula and um, KNO3. Now here's how I got that boy girl boy girl. So this boy dances with that girl and then that boy dances with that girl. Lead in this case was a plus two, so plus two and minus one gives me that. Okay, and then I can go through and balance it. Now not worried about the balancing right now. Okay, this was aqueous. This was aqueous. And all of a sudden, we get a precipitate. What's a precipitate? Well, we're going to use part of your star chart that's going to help you to understand this. All right? And we're going to talk about right here the solubility of ionic compounds. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then we'll apply it to the one we just had. Now, I'm going to talk about the top section first. And it says, soluble compounds contain. These are ones that do dissolve in things, and these are the ones that don't down here at the bottom. Okay, so you have the do's, and you have the don'ts. So let's talk about the do's. Okay? Soluble in water. All of these things dissolve in water. Acetate, ammonium, nitrates, cyanide, perchlorite, perchlorate, all these bromine, chlorine, iodine, sulfate. They all dissolve in water. They do dissolve. All acetates, no exceptions. Notice it says exceptions here. No exceptions for any of these. The only exceptions for all bromides dissolve in water except silver bromide, lead bromide, mercury bromide. All chlorines dissolve in water except for silver chloride, lead chloride, mercury chloride. And you can see for iodine and sulfur also. Now notice what happened. I had potassium iodide. All iodides do dissolve in water except silver, lead, mercury. That was potassium iodide. Oops, I got to back back out. I am so sorry. Okay, let me say that again. Potassium iodide. Looking on the chart, all iodides do dissolve in water except for silver, lead, mercury. That's potassium. So this dissolves in water, so that's why it was clear. Lead nitrate. Nitrate. No exceptions. All nitrates dissolve. Clear, clear. Now look what we made. Lead iodide. Iodide. All iodides do dissolve except for silver iodide, lead iodide. 
That is a precipitate. It does not. That is a solid. And that's why it turned cloudy. Now let's look at the other thing. Potassium nitrate. Nitrate is right there. All nitrate. So that was an AQ. So when you saw that reaction, what you saw was this. You made, made lead iodide. That was the precipitate. It was the cloudy stuff that came out. It's no longer soluble in water. Okay. Now, here's an example that you see on an everyday basis. You ever turned on your sink? And when you get water out of your sink, you see little things. People call them floaties sometimes, floating in the water. These little things floating. What it is, is you have these ions that float around in water. And sometimes they meet up with each other. And you get these ones that turn into little sol solids. So you get these little specks that float around in the water. And that's where it comes from. It's naturally found in what's called hard water. Soft water doesn't have many ones. Uh, ions like that. But that's what happens in this reaction. Now, let's look at the part down here of don'ts. And I'm going to zoom in on this one also. Oops, let me back up just a little bit. Okay, here's how the don'ts work. All of these don't dissolve in water. Carbonates don't dissolve in water. Phosphates, dichromates, chromates, Hydroxide sulfides, they don't dissolve in water, except ammonium carbonate does. Alkali metals, alkali metals, column one on the chart. Column number one on the chart. So that's lithium, sodium, potassium. So sodium carbonate dissolves in water. Lithium carbonate, potassium carbonate. But mostly carbonates don't dissolve in water. Phosphates don't either, except for ammonium phosphate does. Okay, so basically the rule is these are the don'ts, except ammonium phosphate does dissolve in water. Column 1 phosphates, so sodium phosphate, lithium phosphate, potassium phosphate, they do dissolve in water. Same thing with each of these. Okay, so you have to learn how to follow the chart. These all don't, and here are the exceptions that do. So let's look at a reaction, and let's see what happens. Okay. So let's say we had one like this, AgNO3 plus NaBr. Double replacement reaction, so Ag is going to be with Br. So boy, girl, boy, girl, so that boy with that girl, and then this boy, Na, with NO3. Plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. Okay, there it all is. So silver nitrate. Now let's look at our chart here. Nitrates up here at the top does, no exceptions, so that's AQ. It's clear. It's dissolved in water. It's clear. NaBr, Br, all do except for silver, lead, mercury. Okay, so this is an AQ also. Silver bromide. Okay, bromide is right there. Ag is not okay, so that's a solid. That's a precipitate. What about this one? Sodium nitrate. Nitrate is there, all do AQ. So when you pour these together, you're going to get a precipitate. Whatever color it is, you'd have to mix them. That thing's going to be your cloudy stuff floating around. And this is going to be the liquid it's floating in. Okay, let's look at one more. Let's say we had one like this. NH4, 2, CO3, ammonium carbonate, and calcium nitrate. Well, this one looks complex. Uh, boy, girl, boy, girl. So NH4 is going to be with NO3, and Ca is going to be with CO3. Plus 1, minus 2, that's the 2. Plus 1, minus 2, there's the 2. Plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, plus 2, minus 2. Okay, there's the correct formulas. I'm not worried about balancing, but let's see what we get. Ammonium carbonate. Carbonate's down here. They all don't, but ammonium carbonate does, so that's AQ. Let me say that again. All of these don't dissolve, except it's, it says ammonium carbonate does dissolve in water. So that's an AQ. That's clear. Calcium nitrate. Nitrate is right there. All of them, that's AQ. Okay, it's a clear solution. Ammonium nitrate. Nitrate's up here. They're all dissolvable. Calcium carbonate. Carbonate. Insoluble. Alkali metals, column one. Well, calcium is in column two, so there's my solid.
These are all called precipitation reactions. They all make a solid of some sort. Okay? Now what happens if this was not, let's say this was a sodium. And we ended up getting this, Na. And we got NaCO3. Okay? All the other stuff would be right, but NaCO3. Insoluble column 1, sodium, that would be an AQ. If you mix these together, clear with clear, the reaction can happen, but it's going to be clear solutions left. They're all just floating around inside the reaction, so it would not be a precipitate reaction. Everything is AQ. Nothing turned out to be insoluble anywhere off this chart. So you have to know how to use this chart and the solubilities. These are the do's, these are the don'ts. Look at each part one at a time, and you can tell what's going on. Good job.